Ever since John Fury sort of stirred the pot, like unintentionally or not, stirred the pot regarding his son and his training camp and his opinion on how things are going and how Tyson's in decline. Originally he said Tyson was in decline and then he basically reverted and said, I didn't mean that or I didn't say that and what I said was, his camp's in decline, his camp is a clown show. So ever since John Fury came out with them remarks, it's kind of left people wondering, including myself, like what's going on in Tyson Fury's camp? Is he taking camp seriously? Is he taking this Alexander Usyk fight seriously? You know, there's been footage of him in Dubai, so we assumed he was on holiday for a bit. And it kind of painted the image that Tyson Fury wasn't taking this training camp for this fight too seriously. That's kind of what I took from it anyway. But then I also said that at the end of the day, it's social media and things can be done on purpose. And I half suspected that there's a little bit of that going on because at the end of the day, John Fury's got a direct line to Tyson Fury. So if he's got issues, I don't see the point of him going through the media. So if he's going through the media, there's a reason behind it. And one of the reasons behind it could be that it was an intentional plant by John Fury to send people on a little bit of a wild goose chase for whatever reason. So long story short, this week some news has come out that to me at least uh, kind of clarifies everything and to me suggests that Tyson Fury is indeed taking his camp seriously. He is training properly and he is getting in the right help to prepare him for Alexander Usyk. That's what I took from the revelations of this week. And essentially them revelations are that both Moses Aitama and Jai Opataya will be sparring partners for Tyson Fury in the build-up to the fight. Now, I believe that Moses Aitama is already with him. He's already in camp with him and he's already sparring with him. And he essentially turned down a shot or a fight on the 23rd to help Tyson Fury get ready for the Alexander Usyk fight. And he'll be out on Tyson Fury's undercard on the 23rd against Alexander Usyk. For me, Moses Aitama is a good choice for Tyson Fury in preparation for Alexander Usyk. He's fairly quick, he's got a decent enough IQ and he's a southpaw. Three things that Tyson Fury needs to prepare for a potential Alexander Usyk fight. I've got no issues with Moses Aitama. I think southpaw, he brings the right stuff. He may not be experienced enough, but at the end of the day, I think that Alexander Usyk is also going to struggle finding sparring partners that give him the qualities that Tyson Fury's got. In fact, I'm pretty certain that Tyson Fury's probably got a lot better sparring in terms for what he's going to go up against than Alexander Usyk has. Like it's easier to replicate Alexander Usyk and what he does to find someone who's almost seven foot who can move around the ring like Tyson Fury, if you see what I'm saying. And the other guy they're bringing in, I believe he's going to be flying straight from Saudi Arabia to Morecambe or wherever Tyson Fury's training, and that is Jai Opataya, the former IBF cruiserweight champion of the world and young crown king of the cruiserweight division. He's a serious fighter, and he's probably going to bring exactly what Tyson Fury needs in a sparring camp to help him prepare for Alexander Usyk. He's got very good power, he's got decent IQ, just like Moses Atama. He's fast, he's quick, he's a southpaw, and he's hot property at the minute. And not only that, he appears to be like strictly business. Like, I can't see Jai Opataya being in the ring and like laughing around and joking around and trying to have a fun time. Like, he'll be there trying to give Tyson Fury the best work of his life, the best preparation of his life. Maybe stroke his own ego by trying to connect on Tyson Fury or I don't even know what but still sharp and still and to be honest with you guys Jai Opataya is a world-class athlete world-class fighter he's exactly what's needed for Tyson Fury in the build-up for a potential Alexander Usyk fight in my opinion I'm not sure who else they got in the camp kind of thing no doubt Joe Parker will be around Isaac Lowe will be floating around as well but neither of them will really help him in terms of sparring or whatever I don't think Joseph Parker being orthodox and obviously Isaac Lowe being four foot two or whatever and 120 pounds, that's not going to help Tyson Fury. But in all seriousness, I think he's actually got two of the best sparring partners that he could potentially ever find for an Alexander Usyk fight. Moses Aitama and Jai Opataya, both solid, both good enough. And let's be honest, you're never going to find anyone that's going to exactly replicate Alexander Usyk. And I think these two might be able to do certain things that Alexander Usyk can do. And not only that, but they're southpaws. I know there's other southpaws out there. But getting an Otto Wallin in to help you prepare for an Alexander Usyk fight doesn't really make sense. He's not that kind of a southpaw. So realistically, Tyson Fury has probably got the best possible sparring he can get for this fight. So if anyone's got any questions about how serious Tyson Fury is about fighting Alexander Usyk or how serious his preparation camp is, I think sometimes maybe you can look at the evidence in front of you and see that he's bringing in the two best possible options and maybe dismiss the stuff that his father's saying. Some people have been saying, like I've been reading some comments in comment sections, you know how it goes. They've been basically saying that Tyson Fury is going to leave it too late if he starts like ramping up his camp after Christmas for the February 17th date. I don't know because that still gives him about eight weeks from literally just after Christmas to February 17th. That's about seven, eight weeks. Let's call it seven weeks. You've got one week for media or whatever. Seven weeks of hard sparring to prepare you for a big fight. I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think that's about perfect, maybe even a bit excessive. I don't actually know how long 
boxers spar for in the build up to a fight but i doubt it's for the entire term of their camp so yeah basically from where i'm sitting this news that has come out this week tyson fury drafting in mozai tama and jai opataya to me that suggests there's no issues with camp tyson fury is taking it seriously and we will hopefully with a bit of luck get the best version of tyson fury come february 17th that's what i got for this one guys feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below as always like comment share subscribe or don't i'll catch you on the next one love